Is this a placebo or is this magnesium glycinate? Let's see if I can tell the difference based on my sleep quality. This is magnesium glycinate. It's supposedly the best magnesium to help you sleep, but I wanted to find out if this was actually doing anything or if it was all just a placebo. So I, with the help of my mom and my sister, set up an ABX placebo trial to figure out whether this was actually helping me sleep or whether it was all in my head. Let's get started. Hey guys, it's Robin and welcome to the Science of Self-Care. On this channel, we talk about health science, we talk about life philosophy, and we do a whole lot of self-care experimentation. So just to review, a placebo is an inactive or ineffective treatment or therapy, and the placebo effect is when our mental or physical condition improves from a treatment that's actually ineffective or inactive. So this means that fake medicine can actually produce real therapeutic results because it's not the actual medicine that's creating a positive effect, effect, but our belief system in that medicine's effectiveness. So in the case of sleep and magnesium, how do I know if magnesium is actually improving my sleep or it's just the act of taking something before bed that's improving my sleep? In which case I could save my money on magnesium supplements and invest in a different part of my nighttime routine. So I put my magnesium glycinate to the test. My mom and my sister helped me create a placebo pill with tapioca starch and then gave me three weeks of unlabeled pills. So to create a very realistic looking placebo that would be indistinguishable from the magnesium, we use the exact same capsules from the magnesium. So my mom and my sister essentially emptied them out for me. I didn't want to be too involved because I didn't want to be able to study the tapioca and the magnesium up close, but essentially they emptied half of the capsules and put tapioca inside of them instead of the magnesium. We then covered everything with a light dusting of tapioca, even the magnesium ones, because just by the nature of taking apart the capsules, putting tapioca in and then closing them again, they all got a little dusty, at least the placebo ones did. So we put the same dust on the magnesium ones as well made everything basically as indistinguishable from one another as possible. And then my mom and my sister put these into three unlabeled pill boxes, week one, week two, week three. ABX means that one of them is going to be group A, which in this case we'll call magnesium. One of them is going to be group B, which we'll call tapioca. And one of them is going to be X, an unknown, a repeat of either A or B. And I don't know if there's gonna be two magnesiums, I don't know if there's gonna be two tapioca. I just know there's gonna be at least one magnesium and one tapioca in this whole experiment. I don't know the order. It could be XBA, it could be XAB, it could be AXB. This is kind of the ultimate gold standard of placebo tests. By having my mom and my sister do this for me, I'm able to be completely blinded to this, so I really don't know what's what and I have an intuition of what I think is right. We're gonna see if that's correct. As I was taking these pills, I was documenting how I was feeling. I was also noting down some aura ring sleep scores. It's a biometric ring that helps track sleep. So I noted down my sleep scores. I noted down how I felt subjectively. After I share my notes from the three weeks, we're gonna call my mom to see if my guesses for each week was right. And I pray that they are because I will have an actual identity crisis if I is completely wrong. Okay, I know this sounds dramatic, but I use my bodily intuition a lot in my health and self-care, so I should hope that it's a reflection of reality. So let's get into the notes. Week one. I feel like this week is definitely magnesium. Funny how I already felt that after the first night. I felt like my muscles were relaxing last night as I was falling asleep, but later I woke up with nightmares, which seems to happen with melatonin and magnesium sometimes. I get basically really vivid dreams, more so than if I'm not taking any supplements. The mixture of the fact that I felt very sleepy and my muscles felt very kind of calm and heavy going to bed, plus, Having very vivid dreams and kind of waking up later in the night is usually connected to magnesium for me. So that's why I think even after the first day, I was very certain that this was a magnesium week. Interestingly, my aura score for that night was 95. So even though I felt like I woke up and had vivid nightmares, apparently I slept very well because the baseline that I took before this, my average sleep score was around 85. So this was a 95 in week one. My sleep score continues to be in the 90s and I didn't always feel like I had vivid dreams, but it looks like I consistently felt really well rested during week one. I do remember feeling very confident that week one is magnesium. Let's cast that as my vote for week one. 
Now let's look at my notes for week two. After the first night, th these are the notes that I wrote. Last night, I felt nothing. I did not feel my body relax. I did not feel more sleepy. There were no strong, weird dreams that I sometimes associate to magnesium. I swear this has to be a placebo week. <laughs> so I wrote that after the first night and I still feel similarly. Upon waking, I didn't feel as rested. My sleep score was 88, so similar to kind of the baseline, not as high as my average from the magnesium week. By the way, these sleep scores, if you're wondering, I'm pulling from my aura ring. I had a stomach ache after eating too much popcorn at the movies. <laughs> Oh, I do remember this night. Bad digestion really impacts my sleep quality. Sleep score 78. I slept fine, but I didn't feel any sort of difference. I didn't feel that heaviness, that sleepiness, that magnesium puts me in right before bed. And I didn't have any very strong, vivid, sometimes weird dreams. I feel very, very confident that week two is tapioca placebo. I am casting in my vote. Week two is tapioca. Now we get to week three, which as I recall, I am the most uncertain about. Let's look at my notes here. So day one on week three, I had a sleep score of 92. This is very confusing. At first I thought this was magnesium, but then I also thought it was tapioca. My body felt relaxed while going to bed and I slept for a long period of time because I was so exhausted. It's really hard to say. Day two, sleep score was 74. I feel like this is tapioca. I did not sleep super well and I woke up in the middle of the night due to forgetting skincare. <laughs> I think I accidentally fell asleep and forgot to wash my face. And knowing me, which I never do this, I probably woke up <gasps> and went to go scrub my face. Not a great start to week three. The following day, my sleep score was 87. I'm feeling tired as I'm falling asleep, but maybe it's not the magnesium, but it's the probiotics I took. I usually take probiotics right before bed, which sometimes does make me feel sleepy. I feel tired in my head, but not insanely relaxed in my body like I usually do with magnesium. Looking at these notes, I'm still very uncertain. The following days, I'm really at a loss for whether I'm taking magnesium or tapioca this week. Why is it so much harder? I did wake up at 1 a.m. and sometimes magnesium does that to me. I fall asleep easily and then I wake up later, but also perhaps my confusion means this is a placebo week. Looking at these notes, I was all over the place in how, whether I felt like it was magnesium or placebo, and I still feel that way. But I think because I'm so confused, I'm going to assume this means that it's a placebo week because a placebo is a lack of an effective treatment. So I think there's more of a mind game going on. So I'm casting in my final vote, magnesium, tapioca, tapioca. Now let's call my mom to see if I'm completely full of <laughs> Hello, mother, I am very, very nervous. Okay. <laughs> I am very, very, quite very certain that week one was magnesium. Is that correct? I'm gonna go week by week. Yes, that's correct. Ooh, I knew that one because I felt it in my body. I'm also quite certain that week two was the tapioca placebo. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Amazing. <laughs> okay, my identity crisis might not be so bad after all. Okay, the last week I found difficult, but because I was uncertain and I didn't feel what I felt during the magnesium week, I'm gonna say that week three is a tapioca placebo, but this was my least certain week. Is that correct? No. Ah! <laughs> week three was also magnesium. Wow. That's crazy. I felt so sure about week one and week two, mm -hmm. and week three I was so uncertain. Maybe it's a consequence of changing back and forth, and I don't maybe, know. Maybe, maybe it, it was the, it was also I think the most chaotic week of sleep for me in terms of just scheduling and when I was going to bed, but that was the week I was so uncertain about, and I decided to go tapioca. Oh, okay, well, I'm not, completely gonna have an identity crisis, but <laughs> I do need to uh, think about this. Thank you so much for being the keeper of the secrets. You're welcome. <laughs> I love Bye. you. Bye. I was wrong. I will say this. I do feel like this experiment really showed me that it's not a complete placebo taking magnesium. In the first week, I so felt the effects of magnesium, and then to follow it up with a placebo week, I so felt 
that there were no similar feelings and experiences as when I took the magnesium the week before. Obviously, this is a very specific example of how you can run a placebo trial on yourself, but the point is, often there are ways to test ourselves and test whether things are working on us if we involve our friends and family. I hope this video inspires you to think a little bit about how you might be able to run a placebo trial on yourself. It's so frustrating sometimes when we're doing something or taking something and we're not quite sure if it's working. That that said, I will say that open label placebos, so placebos when people are told this is fake medicine, they still have real therapeutic effects. So when in doubt, I am always all for a placebo. I would love to know if you've taken magnesium for sleep, if you take any other supplements to help you sleep, let us know down below. And also let us know if there are any supplements you're taking that you're not quite sure if they're doing anything. Maybe there's some way to design a placebo experiment like this. It was a lot of fun to do. Thank you to my mom and my sister for helping me with this. It's definitely giving me some things to think about and it was was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. This is how I was consuming the pills to make sure that I wasn't handling them directly and that I couldn't really tell which one was which. I would kind of close my eyes and go like this.